merciful gods, if indeed there be such, guard those hours when no power of the will or drug that the cunning of man devises can keep me from the chasms of sleep. Death is merciful, for there is no return therefrom. But with him who has come back out of the nethermost chambers of night, haggard and knowing, peace, peace rests nevermore. Fool that I was to plunge with such unsanctioned frenzy into mysteries no man was meant to penetrate. Fool or God that he was, my only friend, who led me and went before me, and who in the end passed into terrors which may yet be mine. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and gender nonconforming friends. My name is Andrew Carr, and welcome back to the Car Quest of H.P. Lovecraft. And if you'll notice, yes, my, uh, the, the, t the TV's back, kinda, sorta. Uh, and there's also more books on the shelf. When it, you know, you lean this way, there's books. You lean back that way, there's books. Um, and I've sort of put up a few posters and, and, and stuff. The, my parents and I have sort of been working on my room, making it more spacious. Um, anyway, excuse me, let's get to the story, shall we? Today we will be covering Hypnos, and I'm just going to be dead honest with you, I don't like this story. Um, it's not a bad story, it's not a great one either, um, though I think it, th it might also be, a, there might be more to why I don't like this one as much as I do some of the other ones. Um, for summary, um, the narrator comes across this guy who he's, who he makes his friend, um, uh, and he's, he's interested because he has, like, fully black eyes, I think, like, like, like black, like, like, that are fully, like, black eyes, right? And, uh, he thinks, oh, this guy clearly must have seen some adventure in his day somehow and some sort of like the cosmic horror experience and then they start sleeping and doing drugs and then shit happens um yeah can you tell i didn't like this story well i think one of the reasons might be the blatant just one example of racism early on so that kind of which i caught before even reading the story and all I had to just say after that was, God damn it, Howard. God damn it, Lovecraft. Um, yeah. Sorry. I just... I wasn't a big fan. Because also, the story, it, it's the most of it's just kind of their, their drug trip. Most of it. Their drug trip dream things. And it's not, and, and given how vague Lovecraft typically is, I'm not sure if his writing prose really adapts well to, exp I don't think his writing language is good, or good enough to, to describe a, a drug trip. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry to come off as kind of meaner in this episode, I don't. I, I, I don't know. I guess I was... I guess to sort of explain it, I think I was just kind of impatient with this story. I was just kind of like, um... I don't think I really gave the story its due. Maybe I went into it wrong. Maybe I... Maybe I read it wrong or just wasn't in the greatest mood going into it or something. I just... I wasn't as impressed by this story. It almost feels like a... Like, also kind of a generic Lovecraft story, too. It just... I, I don't know. I was just kind of impatient with it. I was impatient reading it. I was just like, come on, come on, let's go. Y you know, let's, let's... Let's get through this. Come on. Um... Yeah, I just... I just didn't like the story much. I just... There's not much to really talk about. Because, again, it's just kind of them tripping balls and nothing much else there's there's there, there the ending kind of implies that there's more going on with the friend that maybe the friend didn't exist or something i don't know i i i just didn't really get a kick out of this story this is one of the ones that you know what it kind of reminds me of it kind of reminds me of um thing on the doorstep 
If you saw my episode on Thing of the Doorstep, I wasn't particularly keen on this story either. On on that one either. And I think this one is kind of kind of a similar thing where I just I'm not a I'm not a fan of it. I just I I, I mean reading it they try to make a big deal out of like constellations and stars, right? Which they kind of did in Polaris. In fact, I sort of went back to Polaris to see if the the Borealis, I think it was. Um, what was it in the story? Just a moment, people. Uh, Corona Borealis. Um, to see if that w- connected back to um, Polaris. Uh, I don't think it did. Um, at least not what I read through. Um, yeah, I just... I'm, I just didn't really get into this story. I'm sorry. I, I just didn't. Um, yeah. Uh, again, I'm sorry to just kind of not be particularly peppy, <laughs> the peppy usual. I don't know. It's, it, it's, I haven't been, sl- <laughs> funny enough, hypnosis is all about sleep. I haven't been sleeping well <laughs> the last couple. It's nothing to worry about. It's fine. Uh, this ha- it happens every so often, but uh, yeah, this is not one of my favorite Lovecraft stories. Um, if I were to give Hypnos a rating, I would probably give it a C, a low C, maybe even a D. Um, nah, I think low C, because again, much like the rest of Lovecraft, the atmosphere is really good. Um, but aside from that, I don't really recommend it. It's not, it's not that great. Um... There are some, maybe this does appeal to you. Maybe the sound of Lovecraft taking on a drug trip kind of sounds fun. It is a little bit just kind of I don't know. If you if you want to read fiction involving drug trips, there's plenty of there's plenty of stories to read about it. There's like Hunter S. Thompson, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Um there's numerous Philip K. Dick books about it. Um, again, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry that I'm just kind of not in the best of moods, but I just really did not like this story. Um, yeah. Um, next time though, I, we'll probably be getting a better one, uh, because the next story is what the moon brings and what the moon brings is really interesting because this is the entire story. It's two pages. <laughs> it's literally two pages. Um, so yeah, so next time we will be covering what the moon brings. And we'll figure out exactly what the moon brings. So until then, th- this has been Andrew Carr. Uh, this has been the Car Quest of HP Lovecraft. And again, I'm so sorry that I was a bit more cynical and bitter this episode. But again just didn't really get a kick out of this story so which i guess you can't help not every not every much you know much like a like a tv show you know for every for every like load of good episodes there's a few bad ones or weaker ones this is just a this is just a case of just a really kind of weaker one um no more no no more no less i guess um yeah so un- until then See y'all later. Bye.